Math is simpler than you think. Welcome to Math with Hembo. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Math with Hembo. In this session, we're going to cover proportions. When it comes to proportions, the times table gives us a great clue as to what's happening. For example, when it comes to any two numbers in the same row and same column, and you actually cross multiply them, you should get the same answer. Let me show you. So for example, I want to choose 2 and 6, and let's say 6, 24, and therefore the same row along the row of 2 and column of 4 here is 8. So here what I want to do is use a box like this. What I do is write 2 and 6 in the same column, and then 8 and 24 in the other column like so. And I want you to see this. When you cross multiply, for example, 6 times 8, it should equal to 2 times 24. So 6 times 8, as you see, here is 48. 2 times 24, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, so it becomes 48. Essentially, what this shows us from the times table itself is that if we set up the proportion box properly and cross multiply each other, they should come to the same value. The trick arises when one of the values is missing. For example, I'll use the same numbers. If I have 2 and 6 and I'm given 8, I got to calculate the fourth value. And the best way to do it is multiply the two that pair diagonally, so in this case, 6 times 8, and then divide it by the number that paired with the unknown number. So this is 48 divided by 2, which gives us 24. And that's how we essentially take care of the method or trouble with proportions or any question with proportions. To give you an example, let's say I bought 6 eggs for $2. How much would 24 eggs cost me? And using the proportional method, you should understand that it works for any numbers. So basically, all I need to do is set this up properly. So I say 6 eggs cost me $2. So what I want to do is set it up so that same eggs, 24 eggs, appears in the same row and the dollar sign that I don't know appears in the same row as the 2. Once you establish this, just know 2 times 24 and then being divided by 6 will give me the actual answer. So here, 48 divided by 6 is. So here, 6 go to 48 and the answer here is 8. So the final answer here is $8. And that is how you use the proportional box. Now that you know how to do proportions, we can take on the next challenge together. Mm -hmm.